Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, as you know, Ulta had a 21 days of beauty sale. Um, this is the second time that they have done it this year. And I did pick up a couple things. Um, I actually did not pick up a whole lot because this one kind of sucked. Um, I know the last 21 days of beauty, Ulta got my money, okay? They just did because there were just so many good items um, that I was waiting for. Um, but during this sale, there really wasn't that many good options, I believed in my own personal opinion. Um, but there were some good ones. So let's just go ahead and dive right in. So one of the first things I have, um, I actually picked up four different colors of Dose of Color lipsticks. As you can see, there are only three. I went ahead and I took one back because it just was not my color, okay? Um, these are originally $18 and I got them on sale for $9 a piece. Um, now, the only Dose of Colors I have ever tried was the Desi and Katie collection. Um, I got Hot Fire, which the color was beautiful. And I don't know what went wrong, but that lipstick burnt my lips like I don't know if it was some kind of chemical reaction but it just really really stung my lips every time I had it on I tried several different times and I ended up having to send that back which broke my heart because the color was beautiful and I really wanted to support Desi and Katie but it just did not work out for me so I wanted to give Dose of Colors another shot um, so I did order through Ulta um, and I got these colors I got the colors Truffle, Mondays, and Campfire and this formula here is amazing. I can actually wear these all day long. They're super comfortable. They're super creamy um, and they're just beautiful. So the other one I picked up was Old Flame, um, but that, that was more of a peachy orange color on my lips. So that did not work with what I was going for. Um, I'm going to go ahead and swatch these for you guys. This I actually put, um, this I actually have a on a picture on Instagram. This is Monday's and I think this color is beautiful. You see that? I know the swatch is kind of squiggly, but that is just a absolute beautiful color. It's perfect for fall and I have already worn this several times. So I'm very happy with that. Um, we have Truffle, which is kind of like a brown pinky, a pinky brownish nude color. Um, and that is just gorgeous as well. So I am in love with this one. And the last one, I actually, I wasn't too sure if I was going to keep it or not. Um, but the more I looked at it, the more I actually fell in love with it. And this is Campfire. Um, it it kind of has like this orangey, reddish looking tone to it when it is on my lips. Um, I know it's not actually coming quite off like that on camera but that is what it looks like moving on they had two different types well they actually had a whole bunch of eyeliners on sale uh, during this sale um, and I picked up two different kinds I picked up Too Faced the sketch marker um, I got this in I got this in black and I also got this in charcoal and um, brown and I have to say that I actually freaking love this, okay? It is so easy to work with. I have been able to do my eyeliner the best that I have ever been able to do it, thanks to this one. So I'm super happy I got this. I actually got like four of these, um, and these were on sale for $10, so that was a huge win for me. Um, I also picked up the Lights, Camera, Lashes uh, Precision Longwear Liner from Tarte. Um, once again, I've never used these as well, um, so I do plan on trying these out. I have not tried them yet. I just kind of wanted to do one brand at a time first, but I did want to try several different ones. So this is the other kind that I picked up. Um, and this is an oldie, but a goodie for those of you who can't spend the $20 um, on beauty blenders like me. I can't really doing that considering I have a eyeshadow palette problem. <laughs> um, I picked up another Real Technique sponge. These sponges are great. I think they do the job perfectly. Um, I picked up, oh my gosh, okay, now this I was not planning on picking up and then I just like, you know what, Cassie, go for it. You 
want moisture you need a moisturizer that you absolutely love I love the philosophy facial wash um, I really enjoy that so I wanted to give something else in their brand a try so I picked up the philosophy renewed hope in a jar and this is a moisturizer and I have actually used this twice and it feels amazing I wish I would have bought more because I tell you what even at full price I am going to repurchase this because it is just that good my felt my face felt so soft it just has this cooling effect and I really really enjoy that considering I'm kind of like always my body always feels like it's on fire so that's really enjoyable the smell is nothing overbearing it's kind of got a, like a lotiony smell um, but that is something I can handle. Um, this also says 91% of women fell in love with the feel on the, their skin after using Renewed Hope in a jar. It says 100% showed a significant improvement in texture of their skin. Here's what they saw. A refined texture with visibly smaller pores and the look of fine lines virtually lifted away. I can use that. Um, a, a soft, dewy smoothness that is comforted by instant and all day hydration and a regenerized healthy glow that lasts up to three times longer. It says it is an oil free formula for normal and combination skin. So I am really, really excited I picked this up. Like I said, I really wish I would have picked up another one, but um, I kind of feel like they're gonna have my money regardless because I definitely will be purchasing that regardless of sale or not. Um, all right, so. Two more things that I picked up. Um, I believe by the time I put this video up, they will more than likely be at Ulta. Um, but I picked up the new Real Technique brushes. Um, and I picked up, this is like the face brush and this is like a contour brush, but I use it um, for my concealer. And these are awesome, okay? These are freaking awesome. Um, I think they can definitely give the what is it the artiste brushes a run for their money number one they don't really bend all that much um and they just this blended out my foundation like a dream um i didn't have any troubles with it whatsoever it has a really good weight to it so it's easy for your control and this this is probably just as good as my sponge um it blended out beautifully and I'm just really really glad I picked these up if you watch out for uh, real techniques at Ulta a lot of times they do have sales buy one get one half off which is what I got these for um, so I was really excited to do that in order to try them out and I say if you are interested in these type of brushes go ahead and try these I would not recommend the Moda brushes um, I know you can find those I believe at either Target or Walmart um, those just don't quite cut it um, but these are amazing so if you are interested these are definitely the ones to get and you won't be spending a fortune because I think the um, the highest price is like 20 bucks I also picked up the Clinique take off the day makeup remover for lids lashes and lips um, I really like the balm that I have I had gotten that as a sample um, but they had this on sale for half off as well so I picked up two of these and I really want to see how this works if I like it just as much as the balm uh, so that is something I picked up always looking for a good makeup remover something that doesn't sting my eyes that is really hard to find um, something that doesn't sting your eyes so from time to time I do use the um, micellar cleaning water but this isn't always the fastest method for me um, because it seems like I have to take it in sections in order to get everything off completely so hopefully this will do the trick for me uh, two other eyeliners that I picked up that I do not have on me because I did return them I picked up uh, the Urban Decay uh, resistant longwear liquid eyeliner I picked up in the color cuff and retrograde um, cuff it was pretty but it was just really messy it was really hard to work with and every time I put it on my eyes it would just go everywhere and I was not a fan of that retrograde was beautiful um, it seemed to work a little bit easier but the color I just didn't see how it would show up on any looks that I particularly do so I took that back okay so I'm kind of excited about this next one I picked up my very first 
MAC lipstick, okay? They had them on sale for like $8.75. I have never tried a MAC lipstick before and I was super stoked to try it. They only did it in two different colors, so I picked up Vel uh, Velvet Teddy and Red, Russian Red, okay? Now, here's the kicker. I picked up four, all right? I picked up two of the reds and two of the Velvet Teddies. I don't need four. I don't need two of each color, so what am I gonna do with the other two? I'm gonna put them in a giveaway. So this giveaway that I've been building up, um, for the Christmas time giveaway, these are gonna go in there, and I'm just, that was really exciting for me to be able to do for you guys. The red is beautiful. It is such a deep, rich, Christmassy, just beautiful red color. And this Velvet Teddy, I thought at first um, that, you know, you can never really tell a color online, but, it was gorgeous. It's it's just beautiful. And I'm really, really, really happy that I was able to get these. Not only for myself, but for the giveaway. So there is the red. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. I almost don't want to swatch it because I don't want to use it up. But... So there is the red. And this is your Velvet Teddy. See how pretty those are oh they're so pretty so um i will be continuing to build that giveaway so make sure that you subscribe all right so last thing in my haul um it wasn't part of the 21 days of beauty of course but i did buy it at ulta so i do want to include it in this video um i picked up the pretty little planner uh for the best year ever 2018 from too faced um, now, as you do know that I picked up the bigger one from Sephora, which I have a review coming for that uh, very shortly. Um, but I, I, I wanted this one too. You know, I really do believe that Too Faced has stepped up their game with their shadows um, and they kind of realized that they were putting out duds because the last two collections that they came out with were absolutely amazing and I will definitely have those reviews linked down below. So I really wanted to get both of these. Um, the packaging, of course, just screams Christmas. And I tell you what, the, you know what? I'm gonna save this for a review. <laughs> so um, I cannot wait to get into this one and do swatches and a review for you guys and let you know if this is gonna be just as good as the other two collections that they have came out with. Um, because I really do feel that they're trying to get back on top and get right with their customers. So very excited about that. So anyways, that is it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Make sure to click subscribe for future videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye.